Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I would like to read an article entitled A Basic and Simplified Guide of HQ Fisby Rules for Seafarers. Basic and Simplified Guide of HQ Fisby Rules for Seafarers written by Captain Richard Gisal on July 12, 2016 Hey QFSP rule for seafarers Let's play a game This game is between me and you You are the shipper and I am the ship owner You have contracted with me to carry a cargo of wheat from the United States to South Africa I am an Indian ship's owner with a ship register in Panama. You are the shipper of British nationality with company head office in Rotterdam. On arrival in South Africa, the cargo of wheat was found damaged because of mistake from ship's crew who forgot to close the hatches properly. As a shipper of the cargo, you want to shoot me, but you can you really where do you approach? South Africa, India, Britain, Panama, Netherlands or United States and how could you show me? I never promised that there is that it is my responsibility to take care of your cargo. I may argue that shippers representative should have checked if the cargo hatches are properly closed before the ship sets the sail. Even if I agree that it is by mistake, I may, I may not agree with the money you might demand from me as a damage. You see, without preset rules, it is not easy to do business. But we can agree on the terms of condition for carriage of cargo in details during each voyage contract it will be take a uh, take ages to agree to terms and condition that is because you as a shipper would want terms and conditions in your favor and I as, and I as ship owner would want it otherwise So we need predefined rules which we both can agree over without any negotiations. Rules related to the contract of carriage are these predefined rules on which shipping has been upon any negotiation rules related to the contract of carriage are the predefined rules on which shipping has been relying upon Hagi rules 1921-24 was the first conventions related to this issue Hagi rules were amended several times later being the Rotterdam rules which were developed in 2009 even though Rotterdam rules are the latest rules, most of the countries have chosen to stick with the HQVSP rules. That makes the knowledge of HQVSP rules so important when it comes to the understanding contract of carriage of goods by sea, but HQVSP rules look so complex, especially for the mariners who of course are not lawyers. This post will aim to simplify the meaning of each article of a Q or carrier relation. I set a set of rules on the matter where HQ rules 1924. These were called International Convention on the Unification of Certain Rules and Relating 
to the bill of lading. These rules provided something for the shipper and it was necessary. Development of contract of carriage rules. Earlier, a ship owner with an old ship would take high insurance for the ship then then will fully sink the ship. He would get then claim high insurance amount. There were hardly any laws to indict the ship owner and usually ship owner had nothing to pay to the shipper in this case. In fact, the ship owner would would write the clause in the bill of lading which read something like this. Ship owner will not be liable to any loss or damage to the cargo even because of the negligence of the ship owner or the ship staffs. Hecuros divine some of the responsibilities of the carrier, but there was also weakness in the Hecu rule. To address this weakness, Hecu rules were amended slightly and were known as Hecu Fisby rules. Hecu Fisby rules are the most used rules to this date. United Nations felt that even the Hecu Fisby rules were in favor of the ship as a result of which United Nations body untouched development Hamburg rules of 1978 in 2009. Unstadt instead came out with more modern rules called Rotterdam rules. These rules, however, rules these rules, however, are not yet enforced in speed of new and modern modern operating countries have stuck to the Hegyvis virus that makes the knowledge about Hegyvis virus to so important Hegyvis virus while Hegyvis virus contain, contain a number of articles First, an article are the important one. Each of these articles has been written very precisely. If you are preparing for the competency exam, you would need to read Hague Fispirus at least 10 times to get a hang of it. That is because we are not lawyers and something we are not able to understand. What each other actually means up. I will briefly cover each article here but my main emphasis is another, another practical application of the Hegyvis virus in article. It gives a definition for carrier contract of carriage good ship and carriage of goods. Article 2 is a statement that carrier cannot shy away from the responsibilities as set out in the articles of the Hague Fisby rules. Article 3 lists the responsibilities of the carrier. If you have been sailing on a ship for some years, now if you already know the responsibilities might have been in the Article 3 of the Hague QFSP rules. To list few the responsible inputs make the ship she worthy the ship should have minimum meaning as per minimum safe meaning certificate. The ship should have the equipment on board and a working condition. All the supplies required to safely run the ships should be unpolled. The hold should be clean and fit to receive the cargo carrier because, because it needs issue a bill of lading. So that's all the article. Don't forget to watch my other video and also don't forget to like, 
comment and subscribe bye